Okay, so... I have the uh, plugin installed. Like I stuck it. I say that. Like I did put it into. You know, I pl plugged it into like the fucking OBS plugins folder. So I'm assuming that's it active because it's just kind of sitting there. And it's like, all right, that must be active. Okay, yeah, it must be because now I, the uninstall option on this like start menu folder disappeared. So it must be active and behaving itself. So, I don't notice any, well, actually, no, I do notice a difference. The colors of the, of like, the GPU I put seem brighter, they seem more in line with what's on my actual TV. Oh. Maybe this will be of benefit after all. Just, even if it doesn't stop OBS being a piece of shit, it will at least make things look nicer. Well, it remains to be seen if the actual, you know, like, video file comes out like that, but hey. I completely wrecked my sleep schedule in recent days, so I don't really care even if the stream goes to 3 a.m. 2 a.m. for you. <laughs> uh, oh, right enough about me. It's like midnight now. Fuck. I mean, we shouldn't hopefully take that long, provided... Because if, if OBS dies again, I'm just going to say fuck it for the night. Because it's like, just fuck it, we'll be back tomorrow and we'll do it when I have more patience for this shit. And otherwise, you know, God willing, it won't take that much longer here. Yeah, like, uh, just keeping an eye on this. I got the idea when watching that blast upwards, but to like, this like maybe this is like this is skill. Or maybe we can like use well, you know, it, it depends on me not to completely fucking all this up by standing underneath and blasting upwards. So uh, let's see how that goes. Okay, I mean that's better than I thought it would go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is better than I thought it would go, just... It's not ideal. I think this is the right idea, though. I just... Don't know how to make it go. Plan to violently fix my sleep schedule tonight by only sleeping for four hours and going to bed early tomorrow. And that usually does it for me. a big block after busting it and see if that helps maybe hey's only Friday that fucks with me Rip. encoding overloaded there it is So we were like nothing really seems to change on that front, so this might still kill over. Speaking of killing over. Keep my eye on it. That was you occasionally has this thing where one puzzle just fucks you completely and then the next one you just breeze through. <laughs> Maybe they knew and they just kind of like did that to try and like keep people from getting too angry. Like the really big one. Yeah, 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 I 
and then we're gonna pop the last wee bit. It's the thing with many puzzle games. I mean, it makes a bias, it just doesn't really do much else. Yeah, do you have to do it after like losing it? I'm watching the fucking like this little status thing on the bottom of OBS like a fucking hawk just waiting for the moment and like bit rate tanks down to zero. The thing that catches me that makes me like believe it fully is like OBS fucking up too. Just while I'm on the topic is like Oh god. Is like when the thing dropped down to like zero like bit rate, the little green status square was still green. It was still bright, like this is you know, connection is fine. And there was the whole thing about, you know, it wouldn't stop streaming or recording when I told it to. So that all makes me think that yeah that is my whole thing. Or it didn't need a block at all. Okay then. Alright, sure. What's the point of this divot then? I'm sure I'm sure we'll not need this anyway, so hey. Yeah, that's probably we needed that to get through there. All right, let's go. To continue your conversation from before, I don't think I want to play through Ultima Four alone. This is not the right door. There is another, even higher door. But yes, you were saying you didn't want to play it alone. Oh well, fuck. Where's the other even higher door? Just like elaborate on what you mean. <laughs> like you just want like someone to watch or you want someone to chat to while playing it because it's like is that sort of really simplistic game or I have not emptied one bottle of water. Alright, well. Sicko. <laughs> Petro the cat. Permitted to keep cat. It's a Bombay cat. to checkpoint it so we don't need to keep reading that. That's just where I'm at with these things. <laughs> no. Okay, so we're at this is this is momentum running. Oh boy. Whew. <laughs> there's that, and since I don't know if there's any bullshit in the game, I want you to tell me what to do when I get stuck. <laughs> That's fair. I wouldn't say there's any bullshit. I would just say like there are like it isn't unless you, like you have like the manuals and shit beside you, which like Google Games version like has like PDFs of and shit. 
Because they, you know, Ultima games and a lot of old games like back then are really dependent on their manuals and stuff. Ultima especially. Uh, like the spells and everything. They, they do tell you what you have to do in those. But the actual game itself just doesn't. <laughs> Let's be checkpointed for that. I tried jumping, I promise you. Like, Ultima 4 doesn't really have any... The only bullshit part of Ultima 4, I'd say, is like... And I don't think even the manual tells you this, because I don't remember if it does. But basically, like, the only... I just got a Twitch achievement. Hey! A Twitch achievement for what? Fuck. He did, he did it fucking flawlessly the first fucking time and now it's just like twitchy all over the place. That's a thing. <laughs> I mean, I know there's like, you know, like streamer achievements, it's like it's achievements for streaming. For two followers, hey. I need to follow you by the way. Don't let me forget. Yeah, well. I'm gonna read this and then touch the tachyon thing. When you talked about streaming, I just went and followed. Yeah, I need to do that. She's black and shiny and looks like a big beetle. Ah, those, those two were both, like, Astros by that point. Let's just touch the Tachyon thing to get our checkpoint in. Alright. Okay, what the hell am I doing here? It's drill time. Or it's not. I will probably announce it on the stream anyway. It's gonna say you don't have a Twitter or anything. So, you need some way to let us know when the plan is. God, <laughs> the momentum. But yeah, no, I'm dying for watching that. Man, let's like, you know, let us know when you're doing it, and probably like around the same times like I do my streams. Yeah, like that would should suit all of us, I think. And off we go. I definitely won't play Ultima Four before my exams over. Yeah, that would make the most sense. Fuck. But... Our timeline together. Alright. That went remarkably smoothly. So, what is the next room out of horse? Mm 
balls, balls, balls. And this, this way is the way of pin. The other follower I have is this art streamer I followed, and she for some reason followed me back. Probably just a courtesy thing. A lot of people do that. I mean, that or she maybe she was hoping for art streams. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like they really do expect you to have like two javelins by this point. Huh. Yeah. The, the true puzzle has yet to reveal itself. I was also her second follower during her first stream. Aw. Oh. What was the name of the helper bot again? Yeah, sorry I didn't say that there, Hammer. Part of it is because uh, you and I both have blue names, so <laughs> in the in this chat window anyway, so I didn't immediately notice. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it was Dolma. I think Mamma even got the little accent so. Oh boy. Touch this thing, because it's not too hard to get all that junk back. We need it, but I suspect it isn't. I suspect this is one of these ones where, like, shit falls in. Yeah. Like no fucking time for that. Is this better? <laughs> yeah, that's better. Thank you for assisting my dumbass. Oh, the cat got the virus too. And the cat became a kitty, no doubt. Now the amount is the same color as me in my chat. Hey, Mamley, are you up to tomfoolery? I'm gonna have to do that again. Are you up to tomfoolery? <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> now he's blue again. <laughs> Didn't it be? You basically need to be fucking running from the moment the screen comes in. Why is it my fault? <laughs> uh. Fucker. What we're gonna do is we're gonna need to double javelin it. Or just single javelin it, really. Watch this, and then that should still be green, and that means we've read everything. Yep. Fucker. And she knew. Hmm. 
Me, one day I'll understand. That kid's a, a bit beyond your years. What was that color called? Hammer? True Hammer Returns. <laughs> I'll just have to actually read the names. <laughs> I believe here, that should be that. Now we just need to get back to the the big fuck place in the Fortress of Angels. Like the one that's like high above the this whatever room it is. And then uh, get the thing, and then fight the boss. The question is, how do I get there? Golden rod. Now, see, this is the puzzle. Did I need to run through the puzzle to get there? I forget. I feel like I did. No, sorry, no, 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 because I, I could do it through the dice right, because I did it earlier. I went through the districts and that got me, got me to it. You can indeed pick colors, Nathan. Five comets. Oh, we were kind of at an awkward spot, aren't we? I should do. Oh, well, maybe. It's enough to get me onto the thing so I can reach the rest of it, certainly. Oh, that's enough. through here earlier in the stream, so it has to be. You don't make that jump. Perfect. He's pink now. <laughs> Pretty was pink earlier, actually. I don't know. For fuck's sake. I don't remember who sat in the room when I came in here last time. Then again, I probably had a bit of junk with me, didn't I? Took a moment to kick in, did it? Alright, fine, let's go. Oh, that's right, we need to jump for this loser. That's right, now I'm remembering. Let me go up here and just in there. This brings us to like the depths room and then we teleport. Probably you don't slip. to like reset to have this shit to get up here. That's right, because I remember fighting these two and doing it a hell of a lot more smoothly than this. I 
the modern colors and Twitch immediately sent me an our site and told me to pay the money. Happened to me too. Fucking hell. That's desperate, Twitch. And then there's like the quarter of gits. Right. Yeah, 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 okay. It comes back. Hey, this is the item then. All right, lads, let's, let's we're, we're we're like our efforts have paid off. Huh? It, uh, she would have to make her own body, yeah. There's spindly even here, as we real. Huh. Dolma? Holy shit! He did matter. <laughs> it only takes so many twists in a day. So this is a nightmare. So it's right, like Rika hadn't put, they put it all together from the logs and shit until she saw this, basically. Just badly. Okay, yeah, so she needed that to... Friends did not ask. It's it's the fucking... It's the Mega Man Legends monkey thing. Explaining takes a long time and I'm a laser. <laughs> I do see the resemblance. You're not taking it with you? I guess you don't need to show it to the... To, I guess really just future Rekka at this point. Alright. See a point. All right, back to the final get. Use your last level ups. Good call. Was another see a point in front of the final boss at least. So that you know, good shot. Chip, stealth mantle. That actually would be quite useful. Not a vitality chip, blood sucking blade. Won't be too useful to us, but we can go and get that stealth mantle. We're going to use the last three on. No, no, scanner, that's out of reach. Show this is out of reach. So you don't get stuck on the boss for another 30 minutes. That's probably happening anyway, let's be real. I mean... 
No, let's take a look. Let's wear saver. Mm, better than nothing. Hey, let's fuck it. Okay. I don't need to reset this to get anywhere anyway, but everything should stay open because we've actually been through. Yeah. Not, it occurs to me I never, like, went down here and, like, got through this door. Yeah. The door's open, we just need through. fight the boss until like 2 in the morning, which is say an hour from now. Be interesting to see if like the conversations and shit change now. I mean, they even like before like the ending and all that. Achieved her final form. Pretty sure this line is different actually. Yeah, here we go. Fucking wrecked. <laughs> Your younger, better self. Three damage already, which is not grit. Not at all. Okay, I mean auto repair is nice super fucking super fucking fast though. Alright, All right, I'm getting back into the swing of it. Means this first attempt is probably fucked. Considering we have to go through her super form and all that, but hey. Swing fast enough. This sword one really is the worst one. Alright, 
suit form. Couldn't tell which one she was going to. Oh god. Yep, okay. Close, but unfortunate with the sword attacks. Pretty decent for the first shot. Okay. Too early. I feel that does three damage really makes it the worst one. Also, this one, they just do that and land on top of you directly. It's like, so much health gone already, to the point that I might just say, fuck it, yeah, I'll just say, fuck it, redo. For overhead swing is such that if I have a decent enough ball, I'm gonna just punch directly ahead and catch it. The problem is, I'm too much of a fucking slow-ass dipshit to, like, Decide and jump whenever she's not going for the swing. No, I don't want to have it. Don't have all my health back because I left but didn't touch the save points. So fucking genius. I mean, whatever. It's like I gained three nodes and I did did it last time with like three less nodes of health. Repair is actually catching this up. Just, you know, don't get hit. Yeah. Been awfully like obliging with like the placement of those blasters so far. Just, nah, not this time. Just get stuffed. Yeah, an awfully obliging. fast enough and neither the hell cycle begins. No. Yeah, auto repair is actually like very fast this time. Straight down. Was 
good to level up. It was worth it to level up. directly. <laughs> She showed me where she was going there and I still was walked into like a fucking idiot. Can't pick it up because of the gravity well. Sword attack every time. The swords in general every time. The big wheel on them again to readapt to, that's fine. It's, it's always the guessing game of like when she does the drop in and if she's gonna do like the three damage blast or just the like the grind shaker. The grind pine. By, I didn't get tagged for three, so I might as well interrupt her if I still got tagged. If he didn't do this one, I probably would have had enough to just punch her. But I can't pick up the shit. Just such a big AOE that getting around it. Mild nuisance. It just cuts so close every time. Well, that actually worked out in our favor, weirdly.
Yeah, I think she's more HP too. I noticed that. Like, she's going for like, what, like seven? Maybe it hits? Like, it. Yeah, it hits instead of like the six she was before. Which doesn't bode great. Maybe it's nine and she has like a third phase now? Like, I think so anyway, because I'm pretty sure she's like, she has more. Her health isn't going down as much, it feels like. Choking on this one of all the ones. Get fucked. Ah. Oh. I've gotten the understand the sword attack and everything. Ugh. Got the fucking wrecked. <laughs> yeah, we wrecked the shit out of her. Beef. This is mostly the same conversation. This is different, these lines. Look at all the delicious Gamer Girl pee. <laughs> and Mama, it's, it's time for you to go to sleep. I guess she gets fucked either way. Although, Dolma was like an AI of her or something, wasn't it? <laughs> and you ruined it. <laughs> Again, suggesting that she wrecked the world so hard the virus can't, can't actually like form and grow anymore. Just through Raikou's just sheer punching everything and shaping the topography of the land with her fucking fist. There you go. Hopefully the fortress didn't land on anyone. like a little scout or like will she actually be in like the shot like where it looked like she should be because it's a bit empty Yeah, most of the new info is like relayed before the ending, and there's only some minor line changes. But we'll see, because like I feel like the ending bit felt like a bit empty, so I felt like there was something that's meant to fit in there. And there's the front door knocking. Is someone else going to get that? Yes. Okay, good. Although I may have to mute like in a minute, or like right now.
I just shoved the door over, fuck it. You'll probably still hear people talking, but uh, fuck. Yeah, this is all as it was before still. There's Ketu, who used to be a cat, and Rahu. I like that they made a cat into a big giant bot, and the cat bot was actually like the most sane, sensible, honorable, and well-behaved of a lot of them. Alright, in my moment of truth. There's Rika. No. Guess not. Unless it's going to add something in, like right here. We got the photograph. Did I fucking hang up? Oh wait, here we go. This is new. It was a meteorite that brought the virus. She got her redemption in the end after all. And she survived. We have sort of the technology, we can rebuild her. So that's Giga Wrecker all properly this time. <laughs> it is a good thing for a while, it's gonna have parts replaced. Uh, yeah, I actually quite enjoyed that. Some of the puzzle, like, I feel like most of my issues with the game are actually down to controls. Like, your mo like the way you move, like, whenever you touch, like, a D-pad or a control stick, like, just, like, she, does, she doesn't like, start, like, wind up or anything, she just kicks off. She just kicks the fuck off, and that sort of momentum she has combined with, like, the way ledges and edges and all that work means that precision platforming and precision placement and, you know, trying to place yourself on stuff, is an asshole. Like, you just fly all over the fucking place. Jumping's not very precise, it feels weird and, f like, not floaty exactly, but imprecise. <laughs> and that just kind of informs a lot of, like, my issues with the game. Some of the puzzles are just absolute bastards, but that's not necessarily, like, a problem. It's just... As I say that, like, it kind of is. No, it's not a problem. It's just... You know, they're bastards. <laughs> I do... <laughs> and they managed to make pretty humanoid female robots without giving them breasts. Nice. <laughs> oh, Hammer. You're right, though. Character design was, like, fantastic throughout. The artwork is fantastic. Look at this, for instance. Character design, artwork, art styles, all fucking gorgeous. Uh... You know, I actually really like the writing. Like, the character writing in this is actually, like, really good. There's a lot of like, you know, they, they get across like everyone's characters really well, very quickly, firmly established, they all have like good rapport, 
bounce off each other well. There's a lot of like a lot of like the logs written by characters that have like cracker lines, like Shiori's line, which is like this guy can't act to save his life or hers. Because it was in about a movie where <laughs> you know, like people were dying. Like it's really, really good. Oh, like the the character writing. I really enjoyed that. And apparently this light is just gonna keep getting dinged over and over again. <laughs> you don't know, maybe they have a function. <laughs> but yeah, like overall I quite enjoy that. Like some of the puzzles did my head in just because really hard, really, really hard puzzles. And the controls definitely got to me like later on when they upped the difficulty to making stuff more precisionist and added more traps and into death spikes and shit. But that's like the sort of thing you could tighten up in like a sequel or like a future game, you know? Like that's not something that gets condemned to, that's something that can be tweaked. Like as an example of what Game Freak can do when they're not like condemned to make Pokemon, like this is like... It's, like, it's pretty good, like this is like gives me hope, this gives me like yeah they can really do like really interesting stuff with like really cool stuff that Pokemon lacks, like you know, writing. And art style and all that. The Pokemon often lacks, you should specify. Not always, but often lacks. And, you know, it's nice to see them, like, stretch their wings and try their hands at something completely out of, like, their usual wheel house and all. It gives me hope for, like, that town RPG. Like, it's still RPG, but, like, breaking out and actually getting to do their own thing more. We should see something interesting out of Game Freak, I would hope. It's certainly based on this. Batteries. <laughs> Robot breasts are batteries. <laughs> uh, Nathan raises a good point. You just replace them every now and then. <laughs> but yeah, the control issues, like... I think the map could kind of be better, really. Like when, once you realize how it works, it's better. Like it, not it's not better. Like it, you know, it works. It's functional, but like, it could be better. <laughs> really, like the flaws really are all based in the, the controls, basically. Like controls and how it can moves. Like everything else, I'm like more or less satisfied with, or actually really enjoyed. I think that the only other thing would be like smoother or better ways to get around solve puzzles and environments better if I had the reset and do the, like run through it again. But it's kinda of baked into the level design. The physics like some of the the, the initial physics puzzles are like physics puzzles like this anyway are kinda of based on like, you know, it doesn't always behave exactly the same way every time. And for some puzzles that got annoying and for some that was actually worked out well for us that allowed like finagling and like bullshitting. And Mamoui finally remembered what he wanted to talk about. <laughs> uh, there is always next stream, which will be... You know, it will be tomorrow, actually. And whatever headaches OES produces and all, it will be tomorrow. And it, it won't be Hard West. Um, that's coming still, but it's because... Because it's a thing I said on Twitter, because I have the idea in my head now and... Yeah, fuck it, why not? I'm gonna be streaming like a bit of Girls Frontline and doing the Operation Cheap event. Because I need to do it to get shit out of it. And then, you know, why not? Just have a day of that. Get my Girls Frontline in and then also stream at the same time. Win-win. Clearly Baba is you stream. <laughs> uh, I made... I like, I have like I did have the idea while I was like musing in one of my silence mute periods, seventh saga stream. Also, yes, that Val Valhalla game is good. Yeah, like I did make the joke, you know, like oh I guess I have to play this now because it's getting a girls frontline crossover event, which it got on the Chinese server and it's being brought over to English server like a lot quicker than usual. But that game was always on the list to like get and play because I mean you know like fuck it look at it and you know me like a fucking course but I might bump it up now seeing as you know I have incentive to rush into it well rush into it I have incentive to pick it up sooner 
So mainly so that in case anything gets spoiled potentially by Ghost Frontline. Dunno. I don't I'm not sure it would exactly, but you know, better safe than sorry. I wanted to talk to Diablo and all those Diablo clones, huh? Ah. You know, I, 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 I'm interested in that because like the prevalence of like Diablo clones, especially lately, is like bizarre to me. Like the fucking Minecraft one, the E3, like, that's really bizarre to me. Like, why Diablo? I know it's like a, it's a relatively simple formula, but like, why Diablo? <laughs> you know, like why not just like a simplistic action RPG of your own sort? But why like very explicitly Diablo down to your, down to the fucking menus? But yeah, uh, that's Gary Racker all. This one's actually gonna get a write up because it's a game that released this year, so you know, like like Resident Evil 2, it's gonna get a blog post. I'm still considering doing like a compilation post of all the other stream games I've done this year so far. <laughs> Kinda this year. I mean, yeah, it came out like what 2015 originally, but y you know, console release this year. It's fine. It counts. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's kind of pertinent because like I have one of the posts I have in the hopper that I started like today was a breakdown on you know like who do we blame for, like who can you blame for like Pokemon Sword and Shields like woes and all that because like, I keep seeing people spout and seeing bullshit. I was like okay let's like fucking you know, walk people through like some logical deduction on this and see if anyone sticks around to read the whole fucking thing. And it eventually just turned into something of a bit of a research piece and going like, oh, like here's some insight into like how Pokemon as a franchise functions and who owns it and all that. I'm really happy that I tried Diablo 1 when it was still abandoned where because it's not very good and I probably would have spent money on it otherwise. <laughs> uh, Diablo 2 is where it starts. Diablo 3 is also pretty good. I haven't like completed it, but I played it offhand when one of my friends, Connor, got it. And like of what I played of it was actually like really fun. I really like the Crusader, who I assume I assume like I think is a DLC class. Which, you know, you just get a more recent version of the game, you should just be in there. I should probably do Diablo 3 at some point. Maybe maybe on stream, maybe not, I don't know, but be one of those easy games to talk over because it's just smack X button and occasionally smack all your abilities when they activate. I heard the Path of Exile is even better than Diablo 3. Hmm, I, I know Path of Exile exists, but I've never really heard much about it. If it's like that, but like that sort of game, but better than Diablo 3, then hmm. Things to look into. Yes, that's Giga Wrecker Alt. It'll, be, it'll get a review post out, along with uh, the other posts I have in the hopper, and then tomorrow, like you know, same usual time. Whoops. Tomorrow will be uh, Pavex. I'll stream with the viewers when. <laughs> uh, down the line. I mean, there's also Dauntless as well, isn't there? But yeah. Uh, Thanks for coming out, thanks for watching, yeah, thanks for sticking through all the fucking OBS nightmare problems. I noticed it hasn't had as many encoding issues, it has had some but not as many since I put the plug -in, in, so like, thank you for discovering that in my Thank you Hammer for saving my life during that one puzzle. <laughs> thank you everyone for watching and tomorrow you'll, well, it's gonna be some girls frontline event, you'll come, come and see the gacha game where the gacha, you don't pay for characters. It's it's like, wow, this is fucking magic. Also, it's just a, a nice, simple strategy game thing where I can just do mercenary logistics simulator. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Rambling. Also, people are starting to like talk and call each other across the house now, so... Yeah. Good night. I'm gonna go find the cat first. See you.